So what is going on everybody? This is Jeff Rima and today we're going to learn how to play Can't Stop by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Franco, what's up with you? So, let's take a look to how the song flows. It's a pretty simple song. There's just a part that can be a little bit complicated if you don't practice enough, and that's the verse. But we'll, we'll surely get through it with a little bit of practice as I mentioned before. So, let's take a look to the introduction. That's basically uh, composed with just two notes. Oh my god, this rain is so hard. Now it's better. Let's take a look at the introduction, which is composed by two notes. These are the fifth fret on the A string and the seventh fret on the same string, and they will be played like this. So five seven, five seven, five seven, five seven, five seven. And you repeat this for eight times. So this is the introduction. Etc. etc. So after the introduction we go to the verse, that's basically the core part of the song. And I'm gonna first show you the notes you will have to play, a basic uh, you know, playing without the strumming pattern with the chords, that's the most complicated part. So even if uh, beginners want to learn how to play Can't Stop, they can learn this part without the strumming pattern and they will be fine. But in a minute I will go to the strumming pattern too. So it should play like... So you play for twice, it's basically always the same pattern, but you change the first note that gets played. So you start with twice the 7th fret on the A, then 5th, I'm sorry, 7th, and then 7th and 9th on the G string, so then 3 times 7th on the A, again 3 times on 7th on the A, then you slide to the 5th fret of A string and then you repeat it. 3 times and then 7th on the E. And then 8th on the E. And you end up with 7th on the G and 9th on the D. So this is the verse. 7th on the A, 5th on the A, 7th on the E, 8th on the E. So after you've played this for 6 times you got the verse. If the key here is to play one note and mute all the others but play a whole stroke. So I'm gonna zoom a little bit here. For example, you focus all your strength on the top of your finger here. The rest of your finger will lay there on the other strings. It will not be played even if you do a stroke on them. So you do like. So this is basically the strumming pattern version. You have two ways of muting the strings. The one I've just shown you, so point finger goes there, any finger goes there. All the pressure on the top of the finger, the rest lays there to cover the strings like this. Or you can pr actually press this finger and have other fingers that cover the other strings and mute them like this. You are completely free of choosing whatever you want, but I prefer this version. So practice, practice, practice. And you should be fine. 
Then we go to the chorus. The chorus is composed by chords in these progressions. So uh, you will first play this G chord, point finger does the barrier on the third, ring finger and pinky on the fifth of A and D, middle finger on the fourth of the G. Okay, so this is the G chord. Then you play the D chord, barrier on the fifth fret, ring finger, pinky and middle finger on the seventh fret of D, G and B. B chord, Barry on the seventh, second fret, ring finger and pinky on the fourth of uh, D and G, middle finger on the third of the B. And then you have C, Barry on the third, ring finger, middle finger and pinky on the fifth fret of D, G and B. So this is the sequence and you will alternate the strumming pattern because the first and the third chord will have this strumming pattern. Down, down, mute. And the second and the fourth chord will have this strumming pattern. Down, 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 up. So. You repeat it for four times. up with B minor C so four times repeat this chord sequence with alternate strumming pattern down, down, up, mute and down, 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 up. Uh, and you repeat it for four times so after you finish the chorus for four times we'll go back to the verse so for other four times chorus other four times and then we will go to the bridge we have the same chords of the chorus pretty much with just one addition and that's the E minor so point finger is gonna do the barri on the seventh fret ring finger and pinky on the ninth fret of D and G and eighth fret on the B pressed by the middle finger and the order is E minor D B minor and C the strumming pattern is extremely simple you just have to play up strokes so That's about it, the bridge, you do it for four times and then you are done. So after the bridge, we'll go to the solo, that's beautiful and pretty easy if you can control your bendings. It should sound like... To play the solo, you start by bending the 15th fret on the B like this. Then you play it and release bending. Then you play 15, 12 on the B, and then 12 on the B, 12 on the G. So this is the first part of the solo. You can do a little bit of the brat with your finger, like this is very good in this part. Then the second part of the solo, you bend the 15 again. Then you release it and you bend the 17. And you play the 15 fret. Then you bend the 15 again. And you play the 12. On the B, this all on the B. Then 15 on the B. 14 and 12 on the G. Then you do 13, 
and 9. I'm sorry, 11 and 9. So this is the whole solo. So this is basically the solo as well. After you've done this, you go verse again for four times and the song is pretty much over. So I hope you guys understood everything. Uh, just take a look to top of my finger. I don't know if you can see it. The states of my fingers after the bendings. Um, I hope you understood everything. This song is very beautiful. And um, next time I will do a lesson for I uh, can't go on without you of Kaleo because I've had a lot of requests for that. I'm gonna do a little bit more lessons while I'm working on my a very good project here. Um, and I don't want to spoil anything yet, but I'm pretty sure you will all like it. So guys, that's it. See you next time and peace.